Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine? But what comes out of the man that is what defiles him from within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Once, an elderly rehabilitation counselor was sharing his knowledge and inviting his students to learn from some of the experiences he had in life. He spoke of how he found a young boy with several birth defects. He arranged financial and medical help. Skilled surgeons restored the child's facial appearance. Trained therapists taught him to speak and walk. By his teens, the boy was able to take part in all the activities of other young people. And the counselor asked the students, what do you think this young man has become? One guessed he was a great athlete, another a skills surgeon, another he was also went on to become a counselor. But the counselor told none of these. This young man today is a prisoner serving a life sentence for murder. And he went on to tell we were able to restore his physical features and his ability to walk and act, but we failed to teach him where to walk and how to act. I was successful in helping the boy physically, but I failed to help him spiritually and socially. Now let us ask are we growing only physically and externally? Or are we also advancing spiritually and socially? Are we having a holistic growth? The gospel of the day is a strong act of Jesus reminding the scribes and Pharisees to undergo the process towards holistic growth and to do away with every trace of duplicity and hypocrisy. The scribes and Pharisees had objected 
that Jesus' disciples failed to keep up the tradition of the elders to have the ritual washing before eating. That was the gospel yesterday. This exercise of ritual washing was more a ceremonial one. They attached greater importance to external cleanliness over internal purity. They accorded higher priority to hygiene outside than to transparency within. They would not bother hearts being corrupted, but they would not tolerate dirty hands. But Jesus is in prime opposition to all such deceitful and corrupt, corrupt human practices. He criticized the scribes and Pharisees for their misplaced priorities. He slams the scribes and Pharisees for their misleading interpretation of purity. And Jesus summoned the crowd and explaining the meaning of cleanliness and purity. And that is what we have for today's reflection. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. Indeed, a remarkable statement from Jesus, the purest and the holiest one is not able to be digested by the hearers, even the disciples. It is not just our hands alone that matter. It is our hearts that matter most. He reminds them of the need for correction. Perhaps we also in need of correction. Let us therefore make a self-introspection. I may be appearing to be clean outside, but is my heart pure and holy? I may be appearing to be any angel to the world, but am I a bond of devilish actions within? I may be appearing to be very good to all, but am I full of anger, jealousy, and greed inside? I may be appearing to be successful, but am I decaying interiorly with impurity and deceit? Is it not time to cleanse my heart in life, which is perhaps defiled with sin, impure with unhealthy thoughts, and sullied or desecrated with evil intentions? We fail to make the journey towards a holistic growth. Today, let us realize that it is not enough to have a physical and external growth. Rather, we need to advance ourselves spiritually and socially. And that is what Jesus is expecting from each one of us. Let us try our best and be submissive to the will of God. Then the grace will start to work in you and you will have that holistic growth. Regina Jenny, let us